What is going on everybody? It's a beautiful day today here at Premium Coach Group in Gilbert, Arizona. And right now I'm behind the wheel of this 2002 Prevo XL2 American Coach Inc. American Coach Inc. is a very rare company. It's different than American Carriage and this coach has a lot of really cool features that I'm excited to show you today. First, I wanna take this coach on a test drive and show you guys how a 2002 single slide Prevo XL2 two drives. Now this coach has a lot of cool features. The first thing I noticed were the power seats right here, all power shades, and then some cameras here as well. Little CB radio action going on. Nice big Prevo wood steering wheel. Uh, looks like this does also have a navigation system as well. Bluetooth uh, ready, all that good stuff. Let's take this coach for a ride and uh, see what's going on here. And the coach is running right now. So the engine is all already going as well as the generator and the AC. So just shows that how quiet this coach is with everything fired up. I'm gonna make sure I get buckled up here. I appreciate all of you in the comments section that always uh, make sure to let me know if I forget my seat belt. All right, yeah, I gotta get my positioning uh, a little better here. Yeah, it was gangster leaning a little bit there. I like a little more upright position. So this coach does have 90,813 miles on it right now. So that's a good, uh, yep, that door locks into place when I take that emergency brake off and we are ready to rock and roll. So smooth. I mean, this is a, a 20 year old coach almost, going on 20 years old. The new 2022s are coming out. So it's just incredible at how well this drives for a, a 20 year old coach. Really, in my opinion, as far as of this era of the early 2002s, this is the best driving coach on the road of that era. Um, I'd say the newer, you know, the newer Prevos and the newer Newells are kind of neck and neck, but of this era, the Prevo, as far as drive, definitely is, it's just so smooth. I don't hear a single squeak and rattle back there. It's just like I'm on rails. Now I'm not dumping the tag right now. I, I probably, it's debatable at whether you need to dump the tag or not. Um, I've been just on the more cautious side of dumping my tag, but um, I guess it's not always necessary, but except for tight turns, so. What do you mean dumping the tag? So yeah, the tag dump, when I say dumping the tag, that means uh, lifting the rear uh, wheels up. So the rear wheels will actually come off of the ground when I dump the tag. And so it gives it a shorter wheelbase when you pick up the, those those two rear tag axle uh, uh, tires, it shortens the wheelbase so that the coach will spin around uh, on a tighter turning radius. So it's a great question, thanks. <laughs> now I'm looking for a cup holder up here. Oh, boom, right there now. Doesn't work for a water bottle, so maybe it's that needs to be adjusted. There is a cup holder over there, but that's all right. I'll just have it next to me. There's plenty of room. And this is, this is a, oh, I guess I don't have it next to me anymore, but we'll worry about that later. Right now, we're just taking this coach for a little test drive here. It is a hot day uh, here in Arizona. It's like 109 outside right now, I believe. And uh, this coach was sitting outside uh, for, for a little while, cooling off before we came here. and. Uh, has the generator and the ACs fired up and it's nice and cool inside of this coach. And I can't wait to show you guys a tour of this coach as well because it is super nice. So there's a little bit of traffic right now. We're here in Gilbert, Arizona, Chandler, Arizona area. Get the music going in here. Breathing, having baby, is up with that. Go 
All right, for copyright reasons, we're gonna have to turn that off, but it does have a nice stereo. I can vouch for the stereo. All right, we're going for it here. All right, oh. All right, so that, uh, full disclosure, oh, you know what? Can you close that and then just put in the, um, push in the lock there? All right, so I'm getting on this a little bit here, right out of the gate. I like to hammer down on these coaches. I don't think we have uh, enough room or a high enough sp uh, speedometer to do a zero to 60 test. We might do a quick zero to 40 test. It's just not the same as a zero to 60. Hopefully there's a gap in between cars. Either we're gonna dust this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's definitely not a race car by any means, but it definitely gets up and goes quickly. I mean, I'm still accelerating faster than this, this car right here. Yeah, there's, there's no one behind her. Right. That was actually a quick acceleration. Uh, this does have the Detroit Diesel Series 60. And being a single slide coach, it's probably a little bit lighter than some of the double slides. I'm gonna pull up right here. So that's one of the things with this is you've got to put on the emergency brake to open the door for your passenger to get out. It is a warm day here in Arizona. I'll be honest, it would be nice to uh, take this bus to a cooler climate here uh, this time of the year. And just as quiet as it is and as comfortable it is to drive, I don't know, I'm looking forward. And when you guys see the inside of this, even with the slide out in, it's got a lot of room I'll tell you what, do you want to walk to the back of the coach and show them what it's like going down the road? And I'm hammering down too. How about those big windows going down the road? Aren't those awesome? So, um, and I'll show you the whole tour of this coach. We'll put out the slide out here in the moment, but um, I mean, that's going down the road. You can see how quiet it is and uh, really just an incredible piece of machinery. Now, one thing I always like to point out on the, oh shoot, no, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep going. I missed my turn. That's all right. We're gonna put an extra little bit of, uh, we're gonna put some extra miles on this coach test driving it here in Phoenix traffic because I did miss my turn. I think if this UPS is coming out of that uh, drive, hopefully it's big enough for a Prevo, but we're about to find out here. So now this is, this is unscripted guys. I definitely made a wrong turn in an industrial area here. I think we're gonna be able to just spin it around there. I'm gonna hit that tag. So this is the big advantage of the tag dump is like right here, 
making a U-turn. Ah, I don't know if I can make a U-turn here. Oh my goodness. What have I done? <laughs> I'm gonna just hope that this industrial park somehow swings around. I mean, I technically could have made a U-turn there, but. I was having so much fun driving this bus that I uh, forgot how to get back to the dealership. So, but just when you're in a 20 year old coach, normally you're gonna hear squeaks, rattles, all kinds of just different stuff. And this is, so incredibly comfortable. Is that a cul-de-sac up there, hopefully? All right, I think we may have an opportunity to turn around, or we're just gonna try to go around the block here. Yeah, we're just gonna keep going around the block. All right, I think I'm gonna get out of this. Uh, even though I made a wrong turn or missed my turn, I think we're gonna be okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna save the camera battery here, but. Okay, we made it back to Premium Coach Group. I had to have the dash air going there. You could hear it's blowing ice cold, but it makes the noise a little bit louder. So we had to kill the camera there for a moment, but we're gonna give you a full tour here uh, with the slide outs. Well, you already saw it with the slide outs. And now we're going to put the single slide out out. We're going to go through the basement bays and give you the full tour here. Um, just a test drive alone for $250,000 on a 90,000 mile coach. I think this is an incredible value. And I've told that this converter was the same level of Marathon Coach and Liberty Coach of this era. And from what I've seen, I can definitely agree. I love the cabinets, the floor colors, but we're gonna take a look at all that in a moment. And as you can see, we're just getting back to beautiful premium coach group. You're pulling up to premium coach group. This is when you are gonna know that you're getting pretty close here. Now, the cool thing about premium coach group is they're an indoor showroom. So off to the right here, uh, you, there's some big coaches in the back there, but uh, it's a big warehouse basically and that's uh on the inside of that showroom is where all the heavy metal is so we're just going to pull in the cul-de-sac right over here and get you guys a full tour of this coach so there's the back look at that series 60 only 90,000 miles on it you can hear that generator exhaust Love the stainless siding. Uh, this is gonna be a little spot for your stinky slinky here. That generator is running, we're keeping that inside cool. So this is the plumbing bay. You got a little spot to wash your hands, your tank fill, your black and gray tank dumps. Here's your uh, water hose on a reel here. It's your fresh water tank. storage bay on this side with those trace inverters this is going to be the generator bay here so it's going to get a lot louder when i open this up you can hear how now there's diesel trucks going by here uh, but you can hear how much quieter that got when we closed that bay manual pull-out tray. So this is on a slide-out here. You've got a little table here, uh, some, some blocks, a little step cover. You got your chairs back there. get over to that shady side you can see that single slide out this is an XL2 with the big windows it does have the dual windshield uh, air phone we haven't done that yet that's cool so pay one on your passenger side 
big one here is gonna be, you're gonna have more of these zip V chairs. You've got a manual pull-out tray here. I'm not sure what these are. Looks like a uh, Bay 2 is gonna be a bunch of storage here. sink here to wash your hands, your aqua hot. All right, now let's take you guys on a tour of the inside of this coach. I'm really excited to show you guys this coach. Let's take a look inside here. Today we're hanging out with Katie here at Premium Coach Group. How you doing today, Katie? Great. Excellent, thank you. Katie, what's going on with this coach? So this coach came in meticulously maintained, um, pride of ownership was there. Um, it has only 90,000 miles and was just uh, remodeled. So they redid the flooring along with the uh, balances and the sconce lighting. And that was done all over at um, Olstrom Custom Coach. So really well cared for and um, a lot of neat upgrades as well. Um, it has uh, the upgraded ABR as well as uh, 7.1 surround. Uh, 20 kW generator? Yeah, 17.5. Oh, 17.5. Yeah. Okay, generator. And then I really, I've got to point out, I really like the light colors in here. So are these cabinets original or are those part of the remodel? Yeah, no, those are original. And they're, yeah. Excellent. So the cabinets are original. I love the floors with the recliner here and a nice little desk area here so you can get a little bit of work done. You do have some drawer space here. This will come out as well if it's not locked into place. Uh, It'll open when you're going around a curve. We did learn the hard way, but after it got locked into place, it did stay into place. So um, real nice wide open floor plan for a single slide. What else is going on in this coach, Katie? The 7.1 was a surround sound upgrade. So it does have that throughout the entire coach. Um, it also has automatic satellite and that's throughout the coach as well. So it automatically finds the satellite so you'll have the best um, viewing capabilities on the TV. And it shows a really nice, really nice design for the inside. Yeah, so I like this booth over here with the light colored countertops that actually matches those cabinets. Almost like a chocolate, a brown color here on the leather on the booth dinette area. And of course the huge Prevo windows with the FedEx truck going by there. What's going on in the galley here, Katie? Um, just a great layout with the, with the single slide taking up. Um, it, it gives you so much space with just that single slide because even when it's not um, out, it feels like a no slide Prevo, which as you know is very spacious so um, looks like they did a brass delete here so I like that there's no brass here on these cream colored cabinets lots of storage with these big pull-out wooden drawers and heated flooring oh heated flooring okay yeah. that's a huge advantage a uh, little cooktop here as well as a convection mic uh, convection uh, microwave there and then all of these uh, insides of these cabinets you can see are all lined with carpet and I've got to say the cabinets and the carpet and the cabinets is in really good condition and then this is going to have a double sink here I like how these sink covers are the same color as the rest of the cabinets giving it that real light feel you've got a residential refrigerator fridge and air in excellent condition and then the cool thing about this coach too is you do have that water ice maker crushed or cubed ice and then more storage here across your refrigerator with these nice wooden pull-out trays as well as your tank leveling sensors uh, you can start and stop your generator uh, as well as your water pump as well as your hot water heater you can see we've got the generator running right now 
a stackable washer and dryer here in the middle of the coach. I like the placement of this. Coming into the half bathroom, let me get the lights turned on. The first thing I want to point out though, is that you have a piano hinge. So you can see here from the exterior, that goes all the way down. Definitely says how robust the build is. You're gonna see that in Liberty coaches. And then check out the size of this bath, this, uh, this toilet room here. You have a second sink here in the toilet room. Really a lot of space in this. I know I recently did some videos with my buddy Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. He would definitely say that this passes the toilet test. A lot of room around the toilet. And you have a little storage here behind the, uh, the toilet here and beautiful wallpaper on the walls. Yeah, so Katie, what else is going on here? You, go well, this is, um, as you can tell, it's just a nice functional layout, the way it gives you the half bath. And so you get that privacy along with the spaciousness. Um, and as you pointed out, this huge closet space here, um, lots of hanging space along with um, oh, wow. storage down here. So that's um, that's really nice here. And there's another look at that huge shower. And yeah. then the, the bedroom area also feels extremely spacious, um, even without the extra slide out. So uh, you can see that with the huge closet as well. So Oh yeah, look at um, that. Along with the other storage. So. Yeah, so you've got a light that turns on when we open the second door here. Shelving all lined with carpet, really in excellent condition. You've got a ton of drawers here along the back of the coach as well. Small TV up here. A lot of countertop space on both sides of the bed as well as some storage up front there. Uh, again, all lined with carpet. Love those huge Prevo windows and really beautiful valances that they did on the remodel job. Here's your breaker panels here. Okay, so what else is going on in this coach, Katie? Um, so along with the 17.5 gen, there's also um, uh, the two 4,000 kilowatt uh, inverters. And then there's also new batteries, the um, AD, um, six new AD batteries. Also the front uh, passenger windshield recently replaced too, so that's brand new as well. And I mean, just a lot, only the 90,000 miles. And just as you can tell how immaculately cared for it was, makes it the ideal Prevo to, to get into because it's the best of both worlds. You only have one, one side to deal with and um, just enough space. So it's really a great coach and a, um, a rare find. Right now we're putting in the slide out so you can see just as the slide out comes in how much room you do lose there. <laughs> yeah, and so I'll walk to the back of the coach now you can see you can get you know really through your coach and really this part of the coach does not change with the slide out in or with the slide out out plenty of room up front here even with the slide out in yeah now you were telling me a little bit about american coach inc what's the story with american coach inc yeah so they have a really great reputation um from some forums and stuff i was reading about they everyone that's had one or has one they really speak so highly of them they're not um affiliated with american carriage but um, so I'm learning as well, but definitely have a really good... Now, are they affiliated with American Coach? No, not at all. Okay. No, nope, it was so a separate So they're their conversion. own separate, just American Coach Inc., so very yeah. rare company. Yeah. Now, if someone out on YouTube is a serious buyer and wants to purchase this coach, who should they get a hold of and how much money do they need to bring you? Um, so this one we have listed around 250 and um, you can give us a call here at the office. I'm Katie and um, we're Chad, and, um, or you can check out our website as well. Premiumcoachgroup.com. Katie, I can't thank you enough for letting us take this coach on a test drive and showing oh, yeah. us the whole tour. I greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you. Bye, guys.